In this module, you will learn about the meaning and concept of Pareto's 80-20 principle, ABC analysis, suggested control scheme for ABC. Pareto's principle. Pareto's principle was coined after the famous Italian economist Vincent Pareto. After studying the land ownership in Italy during the early 1900s, he concluded that 20% of the population had the ownership of 80% land. If legends were to be believed, he went a step further and studied the pea pods, concluding that 20% of the pea pods produced 80% of peas. This theory, developed by Vincent Pareto, later came to be known as Pareto's 80-20 principle. According to the 80-20 principle, few factors will create or produce the maximum effects. For example, it may be noticed that 20% customers generate 80% sale or 30% of production may be responsible for 70% returns. While many businesses may not run according to Pareto's principle, many businesses do. The Pareto principle sums up as a single point. A handful things generate majority of results, that is, vital few and trivial many. The Pareto principle is a good reminder to focus on the 20% of the factors that really matter. This principle is also applicable in science, business, inventory control, forming the base for ABC analysis. The value of the Pareto principle in management is in reminding us to stay focused on the 20% that matters. Very often, businesses that are into selling of goods or manufacturing practice the Pareto principle in distribution of inventory. For example, a company may decide that the total value of its inventory may lie with only 20% of total inventory. Since managing inventory is both expensive and time-consuming, a company can focus on making more profit or revenue by managing 20% of items having maximum value of the total inventory. Let us now understand the ABC analysis. The ABC analysis inventory control technique is based on Pareto's principle where ABC stands for always better control. Under this system, a company may classify its entire inventory and stock keeping units into A, B and C category items. Though the classification may vary company to company, in a typical system, a company may categorize its inventory as follows. Category A may have 20% items having 80% value of the total inventory. Category B may have 30% items having 15% value of the total inventory. And Category C may have 50% items having 5% value of the total inventory. Once the company categorizes its inventory into the three categories, it can formulate its policy to control inventory focusing on items having the maximum value. Category A Items The company will keep a strict control on inventory levels since they are highly valuable. It will also keep a track 
of the current and forecasted demands and have optimal levels of inventory to meet the demand that does not have short or excessive inventory making it obsolete. Category B items. These items will be watched too, but not as strictly as items in Category A. Company will review the inventory levels and order inventory less often. Category C items. Being the least valuable items, the company may have minimal control and order them in wholesale to maintain the inventory to avoid running out of stock. Suggested control scheme for ABC. We know that under the ABC analysis system, the inventory is categorized into A, B and C. The three categories in the inventory can be controlled on the basis of the following guidelines. Category A items are of extreme importance and get most attention. Category B items are of average importance and get some attention. And Category C items are of less importance or relatively unimportant and get the least attention. However, all the three categories can be managed in a different way every now and then. But one still needs to keep in mind that category A needs the most amount of attention. Category B a little less and category C still lesser. ABC inventory control system uses ratio between the number of items against the value of items purchased regularly. So, class A items will constitute of 10 to 20 percent items accounting for 70 to 80 percent consumption. Class B items will constitute of 15 to 25 percent items accounting for 10 to 20 percent consumption. And lastly, Class C items will constitute of 65 to 75 percent items accounting for 5 to 10 percent consumption. Here is a quick look at the policy guideline for the three classes of items. In this module, you have learned Pareto's principle was coined after the famous Italian economist Vincent Pareto. According to the 80-20 principle, few factors will create or produce the maximum effects. The Pareto principle sums up as a single point. A handful things generate majority of results, that is, vital few and trivial many. This principle is also applicable in science, business and inventory control, forming the base for ABC analysis. Since managing inventory is both expensive and time-consuming, a company can focus on making more profit or revenue by managing 20% of items having maximum value of the total inventory. The ABC Analysis Inventory Control Technique is based on Pareto's Principle where ABC stands for Always Better Control. Under this system, a company may classify its entire inventory and stock keeping units into A, B and C category items. Though the classification may vary company to company, in a typical system, a company may categorize its inventory as follows. Category A may have 20% items having 80% value of the total inventory. 
category B may have 30% items having 15% value of the total inventory and category C may have 50% items having 5% value of the total inventory. Category A items are of extreme importance and get most attention. Category B items are of average importance and get some attention. And category C items are of less importance or relatively unimportant and get the least attention.